Hey everybody, how are you? This is Guillermo Mata here. Um, in this video, I'm going to give you an over-the-shoulder view. You know, I'm not going to use any type of, you know, slides or anything like that. I'm going to show you a really cool trick that you can use. And um, I've, really, I've used it several times to close several deals. And it's, it's going to get you an, a good open rate and a good response rate. And that's for sure. Okay. Now this is this trick that I used in the past. It's called the red note trick. Okay, um, it, it's really simple. All you're doing is you, the the first thing that you want to do is um, you want to get one of these envelopes here. Obviously not one of these. Um, you want to go with something simple, right? Um, just a red envelope. Why red? Because I mean, just compare it to a white envelope. You know. When you get your mail, there's never really one that pops out unless you get one of these from like a relative. You know, that's usually the first one that you go for when you open the mail. You open it up, you get all excited, and it's just a note from from a relative or a friend or whatever it may be. Um, so the reason why I say go with one of these red envelopes for direct mailing is because yeah, you know, again, it's gonna get you a good response rate, and it's gonna stick out uh, next to the others. You know, but you want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that you have the business owner's name because it needs to go to him directly. This is why I always mention. You know what? Go for the sole proprietor. Go for the little guy. Go for the you know the guy that's coming up, the contractor, the brick and mortar business, because they usually work by themselves. And, um, you know, compared to like a corporation where there's a huge staff, it's hard to get to the business owner and you got to start ha hassling and you have to, you know, you have to hustle and bustle your way through and, you know, you shouldn't have to do all of that. So go for the little guy um, when you use these envelopes. Now, I know you're probably wondering, Guillermo, what could I stuff those envelopes with? Um, in order to get a response. So another idea would be or trick would be, you know, it, it could be anything really, but a good way to get a good response is sending them a survey, you know, um, just letting them know, hey, you know, we're local. Obviously, you will write a cover letter with your picture, picture in it, a general cover letter, letting them know, hey, I'm local. Um, I assist small businesses. Um, this isn't a pitch or anything like that, but I would really appreciate it if you could uh, fill out this survey for me. Now, this is just a template that I found online, but it it has all the essentials, like which best describes your business model, um, the business model that you own or manage. Like those are questions that you can ask. Um, what is the preferred way for your customers to contact your business that you own? You know, and it, it basically you get to fill out that business. You could even leave some blank spots on the bottle on the on the top of this form so that they can put in their name, their email so that you can capture that necessary information and, you know, keep in touch with them, you know, because this is all about building value, right? Um, building a relationship. So um, basically, you know, the, which one is another good one here? What other ways uh, you promote? Uh, the business you own or manage. So this is awesome. These are, this is good stuff here. So this will basically sum up everything you need to know about that business at the end of the day. Um, another cool thing is, is that when you mail that letter out, um, put a free, put a free postage stamp on there. So you let them know, hey, you're serious. You're really a local business and you just, you help local marketers with whatever it is that you do. I'm sorry, you help local businesses with whatever it is that you do, and um, that's pretty much it. So they can mail it back, and I'm sure enough that they're, if they're it, it, you know, you could offer something like this. Listen, if you fill out this form, I'll give you a free consultation or, um, you know, just give something for free in exchange. Listen, you fill out this form. We'll give you this as soon as we get the form. We'll give you a call. Just leave the best number and boom we'll get it done so it's just that simple okay now some businesses may go out of their way and they may call you 
um, they you know they just may say hey listen I got the survey could I just could I just give you the answers to the phone um, that's cool you know um, within your cover letter you can write something like hey um, if you want um, instead of filling out this form just answer answer the questions um, via this number so call this number leave the answers and we'll follow up with you right away and I've done this several times and the response rate is just ridiculous why all because of this envelope here all because of this envelope why because number one it stood out number two you you're giving something in exchange for something basic a survey all right number three you have a phone number that you can you know this is by the way if you don't know this is Google Voice you can set up anybody can set up a Google Voice to take in messages and it's just that simple you can set up Google Voice Twilio whichever one you use really easy stuff here guys and anybody can do this anybody can do this so if you don't have but a budget for um, um, for you know to put an additional postage stamp make sure that your cover letter has like you know just a brief description about yourself not about you know you could put a logo or you know for, for your business of course but you know make it about yourself um, let them know uh, you know why they're filling out the survey um, and of course you want to mention that in exchange they're getting a free consultation or um, a free website overview SEO analyst etc all right just give something of value um, and you just definitely want to mention all of that in the cover letter um, and again if they can you want to mention on that cover letter if they want they can answer these questions via phone and boom you use a Google voice number and it's just that simple it's that simple nothing too complicated and anybody can do this guys anybody can do this stuff so you know one thing I will mention though is that before you go ahead and start buying these envelopes and you know you go ahead and, and you get this done um, you want to make sure you know the business you're targeting alright guys now a lot of the guys out there that you know that you know they kind of just they mail letters out there they don't really know who they're targeting um, you want to make sure to 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 get warmed up get warmed up feel confident get a feel for that business get a feel for who the business owner is you already know who the business owner is. You know their location because you used, uh, you know, the Bear BBB system. Um, you viewed them on the map. You know where their location is. You got the business owner's name. You see their complaints showing up on the first pages of Google. You want a full out feel for that business, um, and you can, you got a hawk eye view on how that business is doing just using the Bear BBB system. Now all you have to do is. You know, buy that envelope, set up that survey, and the survey, you know, you can ask these basic questions again. You know, which best describes your business model? What's the preferred way for your customers to contact you? Uh, which, what avenues do you use to promote? It could be three simple, you know, uh, questions that you can ask them. On the bottom, just say, hey, just if. Just leave the answers for me via your phone, via phone, with your name, email, and phone number, and we'll contact you right away for a free consultation, for free, to give you free training. You can even, you know, what you can do. Um, a lot of people won't tell you, this, but you can get them on a Google Hangout. Just say, hey, listen, we'll get you on a Google Hangout for an interview, and we'll try to rank you on the first pages of Google. And if you guys don't know how to do that, just ask me in the mastermind and I'll show you how you can do that. It's very, very simple, guys. Um, I want to make sure that you guys are really watching this video. So if you do watch this video, let me know that you've seen it in the group. And please, just let me know. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own survey, my, my little questionnaire for you so that you can take it, download it, and use it at your own will. Okay, I just want to make sure that you guys are following these instructions and are, are ready to take this on. Um, so that's all you need. Red envelope, questionnaire, and then Google Voice number. That's all you need. All right. Um, it's just that simple. So I'm Guillermo Mata. If you have any questions, make sure to keep in touch with me in the group. 
Um, if you didn't buy any of the upsells, make sure that you get in there ASAP. Um, you don't want to miss out on anything. Um, every part of you know every upsell or everything that you see a part of this you know funnel here, you know, is all to make this system work. All right, and it's all you know and your benefit so that you can start crushing this and start landing clients be before the year is up. You know, you know, there's a lot of training out there, but the stuff that I'm showing you now are things that I use in my business every day and I just gave you an overview over the shoulder view exactly on how I do it look I didn't give you any slideshows I said red envelopes questionnaires Google voice number is just that simple alright so that's just spark some ideas get creative with it as well if you got some ideas get creative with it okay so I'm Guillermo Mata and I'll see you in the mastermind group bye bye